What's up everyone and today we got our first ride of the Aprilia Tuano. It's the uh, first time I've ever ridden a uh, Aprilia motorcycle actually. So this should be pretty cool and uh, I pretty much never ride, let me get suited up here, and I pretty much never ride uh, mid-range bikes. And actually the only one I've ever ridden was a Triumph 675. And I'd like to thank the great guys here at uh, Eurocycles of Tampa Bay for letting me test ride this bike and uh, let's get on with it. All right guys, back here on the bike. And actually this is the first time I've ridden with my new Motovlog helmet set up. So I apologize uh, if it doesn't sound right because this is the first time I've ever ridden with this setup here. Woo! What a wheelie there. Let me adjust these mirrors here. Hey, there you go. Now I can see. Freaking car tried to jump up on me. I'll tell you what, I love this mid-range power so far. Woo! Yeah, I love it. Yeah, guys, so uh, just going back to the Motovlog helmet setup, uh, kind of in a temporary setup. Uh, I just moved here from Hawaii, if you guys know, here to Tampa uh, not too long ago. And I'm still waiting for my uh, other helmets and my Cena, like a uh, wireless equipment to show up. But uh, I did have my uh, GoPro Hero 5 Session, which I'm using, and I hope it looks good, guys. And I'm using a, uh, a mic, a Sony mic that I've run the wire to, and a uh, dead cat, as we say, the little fur to keep the wind out. I hope it sounds great, and uh, we'll get back to the ride. All right, so how does the bike feel? I tell you what, it's got great mid-range power expected from a, uh, you know, naked bike. And the Tuano is, you know, those arguments whether this is actually a naked bike or not. Because um, of the fairing, it has a pretty good fairing on the front, which is like currently mounted, as y'all can see. Uh, I like it. Uh, first time I've been on an Aprilia. And it has acceleration, guys. Uh, really liking it. A lot. So, uh, we'll go around here. Uh, we'll do some filming. The uh, flickability is pretty good. Not as good as a sports bike, you know, like the classic super sports I'm um, used to riding, like the BMW or the uh, Ducatis. Uh, but I will say it is a uh, pretty good flickability. You do sit uh, upright. Uh, I really like this position. Uh, it kind of reminds me of back when I had a uh, CBR 250R. Pretty much sits straight up. Woo, this thing will go, guys. I love it. And I'm over here in sport mode. Uh, but like I was saying, it goes back to the CBR 250R, um, pretty much upright. It was my first sport bike when I got back into sport bike riding. I uh, hadn't rode for years. You know, I rode dirt bikes, full wheels, all that good growing up. But the 250 was a good uh, way to come back uh, into sport bike, street riding. Uh, I rode the heck out of it for like two or three months and then got my 1000. So yeah, I was pretty good riding again, comfortable, all that good stuff. But it's Tuano, man. It's got the acceleration. Woo! I love it, man. Wow, I wish I had uh, more money to buy a Tuano, right? Uh, I'd own them all if I could. BMW, Ducati, Aprilia, you name it, baby. Now, I'm still waiting on my uh, CBR 1000 R to show up. It's being shipped from Hawaii to Tampa. Uh, it's not here yet. Uh, so, until then, like I said, thanks to the guys at Eurocycles of Tampa Bay for hooking me up. Let me test ride and do some motor vlogs. I love it. And I'm actually going to test ride a couple more bikes today. And those videos will be posted in the near future, so look forward to those. Uh, more thoughts on the uh, Tuano here. So, acceleration is awesome in the mid-range. I love it. Flickability is good. Braking, uh, it's okay. Uh, I was braking back there, if you saw earlier. I don't know uh, if I got that or cut it out. But it didn't break as crisp as a sport bike, a uh, classic super bike. Uh, maybe that's me, maybe I'm not used to Aprilia's, but that was kind of my thoughts on it. Now, I will say one thing I don't like already off the bat is these little tiny pegs down there uh, on both sides. I uh, kind of was like feeling for them in reach and like, where are they at? You know, I'm used to them coming out a little bit, the rear set sticking out a little more, I guess. And I am wearing uh, my Alpine Stars, like, uh, you know, my mid boots or whatever they are. Uh, they're not the high ones, but they have good tactile feel, which I'm used to. And uh, I, I was sitting there like, where's the brakes, guys? You know, uh, let's see. As far as shifting, it's got an easy clutch. I love that clutch. Uh, not much too much, you know, back pressure, grip pressure, whatever you want to call it. Pretty easy clutch. Uh, the looks, it looks awesome. I'm not going to lie. I uh, love this bike uh, already. So if you didn't catch my last couple videos, guys, I did the... Uh, like a walk around and I test rode the 2018 BMW S1000RR and also a 2016 Ducati 1299S Panigale and it was actually on this same route that I'm taking it's a really good route 
But I didn't get any uh, film because I didn't have my motor vlog set up, not even this one yet. Uh, there's a cop that usually sat there at farmer's market side in the distance trying to get people. And the irony is, since that's just a short burst right there of that turn to this turn, that's a nice house, guys. Wow. Anyway, um, you know, I almost accelerated through there too bad with the uh, with the Beamer, I believe, last time. And I was like, oh, shoot, because I think it's like 35 or 40 on that road, the speed limit. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, man, it didn't take much time to get uh, up on acceleration with that uh, Beamer. All right, moving along with the Tuano. Uh, I love the uh, screen down there. Looks like a TFT, maybe LED. I'm not sure if it has a TFT, but it looks great. It's better than the regular old sport bike displays you see. Uh, the bars are very comfortable, uh, upright, of course. Uh, it turns great, leans in corners. It's cool because there's a lean angle sensor here that tells you degrees that you lean. Let's see. That was a 12 degree. <laughs> Let's see what we get right here, guys, coming up on this turn. Should be able to get pretty good. And like I'm in second gear chilling guys. The bike's perfect. Let's go. All right. Whoa. 26 I think. And I wasn't nearly leaning enough. You know guys. But this is a test ride. I'm not going to sit here and be crazy on their bike. Especially a $20,000 bike or almost $20,000 bike. But yeah. I, you sit up and it's just great guys. I just love the way it feels. Uh, great acceleration. I mean you saw that off the bat at the beginning when that car was trying to be a butthead and uh, cut me off or whatever they were doing I needed to get over in that lane because the right lane when I came out of Eurocycles was a uh, turning lane and uh, when I accelerated to get ahead a little wheelie action off the ground there I mean tiny bit I caught it let off the you know accelerator oh this sucks guys we're behind this slow dump truck nice little golf course through here um, and like I said, this is a nice little route that Eurocycles of Tampa Bay gives you. I got it here, instructions just in case, but I rode it twice last time with the uh, S1000RR and the uh, Ducati, so pretty much remembering it. I would pass, but you know, what's the point? I'm enjoying this, guys. It's got good acceleration, like I said. Flickability is good. Love the screen. Love the comfortness. The seat, very nice. Very nice seat. Uh, pegs are a little higher than I expect on a uh, comfortable mid-range sport bike, but um, you know, and they're a little small, the rear sets. Uh, I would replace the rear sets if I bought this bike. Uh, the shocks feel great, um, and along with the body position, like I said, sitting up. Here we go, here's a turn. Whee! And I love how you just, it turns so clean or leans. It's just so nice, the angle you're riding at. It's not the aggressive, like, you know, I'm sitting here tucked in the position and I'm going 150 miles an hour. But that ain't what this bike is for, guys. This bike is for commuting, going around town, having a good time. And it has some pickup, guys. I'll tell you that. And so, guys, uh, coming up here, we got a nice little park where I like to do the little walk around. I'll do a short walk around and tell you guys my final thoughts about the bike. All right, guys, here's the pretty up close Tuano V4. We're going to do a little walk around here so you guys can check out the bike. Uh, as you can see, it's got that big, hideous exhaust. Of course, that'd be the first thing to go. Um, but I do love the colors of their Pro. Yeah, everyone does. Look at those rims, color scheme, the silver. I mean, it's just, it's pretty, guys. All right, here you go with this front fairing here. There you go. I love the way it looks. It's got that front end and the same as the RS before RF there. I got the carbon fiber front fender there. Let's see, what else we got? Handlebar straight across. As you can see guys, very comfortable. All right, this side of the bike, uh, as you can see, got a, it's got the full swing arm. It's not like the Ducati, so it's single-sided. This passenger cow looks really cool though. I like that. It's really cool, but this seat is awesome guys. I'm telling you, the seat is awesome. It's gonna be hot when I get back on it though. All right, we'll come around backside. Of course, the fender limb would have to come into play. That thing's gotta go. Tires are nice and wide. And like I said, it behaves just like a uh, Super Sport, and uh, except you're sitting up uh, and it's got better mid-range power. Of course, you're gonna lose the top end power, but that's okay. I highly recommend it if you're looking for like a naked street bike and don't want the aggressiveness of a Super Sport, but almost the same response. All right, we'll turn it on here, guys. Like I said, it's got a great uh, TFT or LED screen. And uh, look at that, the lean angle sensor is already working. 12 degrees on the kickstand. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll start her up and uh, we'll let you guys hear what he sounds like with stock exhaust. All right, here we go. All right. So you can hear that V4 engine, guys. 
it's not too loud you know i might be talking a little louder than i need to but there we go guys Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good what do y'all think listen again yeah so yeah 1100 factory Aprilia to Wano V4 there it is guys all right hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't and look forward to more awesome motor blogs here in Tampa Florida so guys let me know what you think about this bike in the comments below would you consider getting it should I consider getting it let me know I'd like to see your thoughts and remember I do respond to all comments down in my comments section so I, I like you guys I like hearing from you I like you all being part of the Fire Bay Poly Army you guys are the fam motorcycle community let me know your thoughts and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I put up new videos so with that until next time guys I'll catch you later damn